Hi all, welcome to Die.3D Tech YouTube channel. In this today's video, we'll see how to install this Radio Master RP1 receiver on this flight controller board. So this is ELRS RP1 receiver. You can see here. You can see here. This is the RP1 receiver. So this we need to connect on this flight controller board. So you can see here connections like you have four pins here like one is uh, ground another one is 5 volts another one is TX and RX. So this you need to connect on this SP Racing F3 flight controller board. So here you can see here TX RX and this is the 5 volts and this is ground and this is the URT3 port. So First, I will solder this here. Then, through beta flight, we can install latest ELRS version on this receiver. Basically, this will come with the ELRS 2.0 version, but for my transmitter, it is 3.0. So, I need to install latest firmware in this. Okay. So, how to connect this one? I'll show you. It's very simple only. So, you have the same CTX RX 5 volts ground. Only change you need to do is this TX you need to connect RX. See, this RX you need to connect to TX, this TX you need to connect to RX. Then positive you connect to 5 volts, minus you can connect to this minus. That is it. Only change shuffle these two things. Okay. Shuffle this two things that is it. So, I will solder this then I will be back and using beta flight we will install ELRS 3.0 in this receiver. Okay. So, using beta, beta flight pass through method. Okay. So, I am installing firmware using beta flight pass through method. Okay. There are methods you can install with URT, you can install with Wi Fi. So, in this we will see how to install through beta flight pass through okay so i will solder this then i'll be back okay now i solder this you can see here connection so here you can see 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 here you can see rx is connected here for the TX. You can see here no? RX is the blue color wire here. So that you can see in the flight controller board. Okay. See. It is connected to TX. Then this pink, this is TX, is connected to rx here you can see here no? rx like that so i'll give the direct diagram in the screen you can follow that and you can connect so now we need to go to the beta flight there you need to configure okay so first we need to enable the port so you can see here this is urt 3 port this we need to enable in the configuration okay so we'll do that in a beta flight So now we need to connect our flight controller board to computer using USB cable okay? and also install necessary driver something like this CP210X uh, drivers and the JADIG in case if your uh, flight controller board is not detected you need to install these drivers. Once it is installed it will be detecting the COM port so you can click on the connect. So here we need to do few changes because we want to communicate uh, uh, this receiver through the flight controller board so we need to enable some ports here uh, you can see here ports in the ports you need to enable so default it will be off so you are uart3 we connected our receiver to uart3 uh, port so that we need to enable the serial rx because we are using the receiver using this port so you need to enable this serial rx and save and reboot 
then now we need to do some changes here you can see in the receiver so you need to select the receiver type so you can select this serial via UART okay so this is the receiver type we need to select and here we need to select crossfire so if you are using some other receiver maybe you will select this iBuzz and uh, SBuzz but we are using ELRS so this ELRS receiver will be communicating with the uh, flight controller board using this crossfire protocol okay so this is how it will communicate so you just need to save and report uh, make sure your ports are enabled for the UART serial RX receiver so you can read some instruction here UART receiver must be set for serial RX that is what uh, we enable this okay so that now it is ready to flash the firmware using beta flight pass throughs okay so you can disconnect this okay you can disconnect this and you can open express LRS configurator so uh, you can see here I am selecting this version because in my transmitter I have the same version so I want to stick to the same version so 3.0.1 and here in the target you need to select what device uh, you are flashing so actually these receivers are like happy model 2.4 gigahertz you can select that and device so this is happy model EP2400 so we are flashing the receiver we need to select the receiver okay and here these are the flashing methods so at present we are using this beta flight pass through we are flashing through the beta flight and another method will be there that is UART so if you have the beta flight uh, recovery dongle you can use that and you can flash it another one is Wi-Fi so Wi-Fi means for this you need to build the firmware and we can connect to Wi-Fi through that we can flash the firmware so if you are using Wi-Fi in the bottom you can see there is an option build and flash we should not use we need to use the build so that it will give you the bin file then we can upload that through Wi-Fi but at present we are using this beta flight pass through we can stick to that then you need to select any one of this domain regulatory domain so this is the kind of like a universal domain we can select ISM if you are in a European region then maybe you need to select this EU okay so you can select this and these options just leave it as it is and binding phrase so for example you want to bind the receiver with your transmitter automatically so what you can do is you can give it the same binding phrase for the receiver and transmitter so that automatically it will bind next you want to connect this receiver automatically to your Wi-Fi so you can provide your Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password automatically once the Wi-Fi is available automatically this receiver will be connecting to your home Wi-Fi okay so yeah we don't need to touch these options for now okay so now I am using the beta flight pass through we need to select which port it is connected then you need to click on the build and flash okay so that it will build the firmware and it will flash the uh, receiver so I am not clicking on this because I already have the same version in my receiver so I don't want to change it anymore just you need to click and wait for some time so that it will show you the success message okay so yeah that's how you can do it once you've done that so you need to connect you need to connect to your receiver okay you need to connect to your receiver through Wi-Fi okay so that you can check this receiver related options okay so yeah you can connect to your Wi-Fi by clicking you can see here it will come so express LRS you can you can give the same express LRS small letters you can add and you just connect so once it is connected you can see here it's connected so you can open any browser and you can enter this number 10 10.0.0.01 so that it will be showing 
Yes. And you can see this is happy model EP1 2.4 gigahertz RX and the firmware version you can see 3.0.1. So like this you can uh, flash the firmware on your RP1 receiver. Okay. Yeah, that's how you can flash your receiver. Okay. So hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel for more RC plane and drone related content. See you in the next video. Thank you.